Our next topic is going to be to talk about something called eigenfunctions and the corresponding term eigenvalues. These are none other than the stationary states that we've been talking about for the, the, the quantum mechanical description of the infinite potential well. We know that there are these functions. Psi n is a sine of n pi x over l where this latter uh, argument to the sine function are these allowed values of the wave number n pi over l. These correspond to the solutions for the Schrodinger equation in the infinite potential well. n equals 1 is this right here. n equals 2 right there. n equals 3, and so on. So these functions uh, were called stationary states in the Bohr model. Um, they are the, the states that correspond to the allowed values or discrete values of energy that are allowed uh, as solutions to fit inside of, this, um, inside of this potential well. The German word eigenvalue Uh, that is pro uh, German for proper value. And it's just another term for the discrete values that are allowed for the energies or the wavelengths uh, inside the solution of the infinite potential well. The eigenfunctions are the wave functions that go along with these particular eigenvalues. So for every eigenvalue or proper value for the allowed Kns or the corresponding allowed energy eigenvalues, there is an eigenfunction or wave function that uh, that is the unique wave function that will, that will have that eigenvalue. This is a lot like uh, in the Bohr model. Uh, there were allowed energy levels, n equals 1, n equals 2, and they got closer and closer, bound up to n equals infinity. These were the allowed energy eigenvalues in the Bohr model. We have the same thing, actually, in classical physics. In music, we talk about harmonics that are allowed for, for example, the allowed vibrations on a string. The bass harmonic or fundamental tone is the, the, the tone that has the longest wavelength for the wavelength on a string. It's in fact this n equals 1 case here. In quantum mechanics, uh, we call this the ground state. In music, we would call that the fundamental. In quantum mechanics, the other states are called excited states. In music, you would, one would call these harmonics. So there's, a, there's an analog to this, and it just comes from the fact that we have a system with boundary values, or in this case, a potential that bounds the particle. Anytime one has this in quantum mechanics, we will find that there are discrete values that arise, that we won't have a continuum of allowed energies. We'll have certain proper values or eigenvalues that are allowed. 